What's going on guys, Donovan here. In today's video, we're actually going to be trying out a new product on the charger. So recently, a company called Shine Armor reached out to me uh, to see if I wanted to give their nano glass coating a try on one of the cars. The purpose of this product is basically to boost the hydrophobic properties of your car's windshield or I guess the rest of the windows around it to help water bead off quicker and easier in rain. Also, it's supposed to help with streaking when you uh, turn on your windshield wipers when it's raining outside. I know some people, especially on older cars like my grandma's Civic um, that sits outside a lot, um, the windshield wipers, if they're not in perfect condition, leave terrible lines in the rain. And funny enough, I recently started wearing glasses specifically for suboptimal nighttime driving conditions. So I was really excited to give this product a shot and see, you know, how effective it is at repelling the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to tape off the windshield right down the middle apply this product to one side, one half of the windshield, and then we're gonna spray water on both and see how much of a difference this product makes. The first step of the process is to clean your windshield. You want to make sure the surface is nice and dry so i got a really nice microfiber towel this thing was actually pretty expensive this thing was like 20 bucks but so the directions are pretty simple it says just wash your car normally wait till it's um, dried um, completely before applying the product which should be self-explanatory um, and then you pretty much just apply the product um, with some sort of microfiber towel so they also sent me one to do that with um, in circular motion so one thing they don't mention on this bottle is how much product to apply so i messaged them on instagram they have a very responsive social media team and just asked them um, they said a little goes a long way and so for half the windshield, I'm just gonna do two sprays or, or two, I guess, two squirts of the product and wipe it around, let it dry, let it cure for a little bit, and then give it a shot. So we're gonna do that on the driver's side of the windshield. And then I'm going to leave the passenger side bare and we'll spray some water on it, see if it makes a difference. So one thing that's weird about this product is it smells really good. I'm not sure the intention is to, to sniff it, but I gotta say, I like the smell. By the way, the reason I ended up putting four sprays on was because half of the product was blowing away in the wind. It's kind of windy. So um, I did four kind of half sprays, not a ton of product. Like I'm not dumping it out on the windshield. I'm just going to let it dry for a little bit. They say wipe off any haze, any like leftover glaze. If it doesn't dry off, make sure to rub it, spread it around the windshield properly. Um, just make sure that it's not hazy before trying to spray it with water. It feels kind of dumb spraying a recently cleaned car, but I guess let's do it. So see how that help, how well that side repels the water versus The lighting makes it a little difficult to see, but on this side, you'll see that there are kind of a lot of small um, beads of water. Whereas on this side, there aren't as many beads because they're larger and they've kind of streaked off more. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the windshield wipers and see if there's any difference in how the car's windshield wipers work. 
So I applied the product on this window, uh, not on that side. So you can see there's a difference. There's less beads over there because I think it streaked off or I put less water, but more beads here. And so we'll see if that's a good thing right now. So we'll see the difference uh, with windshield wipers. So it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but on the passenger side where no product was applied, there are still some streaks left over from my windshield wipers. Whereas on this side, there are not. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but that window is perfectly clear aside from those two chips I have up here. Like I said, I imagine you'll see, you know, more of a difference if you apply this product um, to a car that sits outside. Like you can see uh, my grandma's car, for example, that is always parked outside. It has streaks kind of left over from where water dried. Um, whereas my car, it sits in the, in the garage. So it lives a pretty easy life. So now I'm gonna go ahead and dry the car off and apply the product um, to the rest of the windows as well. Uh, like I said, I recently got this thing detailed and uh, I don't really want water droplets on it. So there you guys saw, those are the results with the graphene nano glass coating um, from uh, Shine Armor. So the difficulty with me specifically testing a product like this is I live in Southern California and drive a car that is primarily garaged, right? So my car, number one, doesn't see a ton of rain because it's Southern California and a desert. And uh, number two, the car windshield is generally in pretty good shape because it spends most of its life living in a garage. I imagine if you have a car that's, the windshield is in a little bit rougher shape because it primarily exists um, in, in the elements, like if you park it in an uncovered driveway, the effects will be much more drastic. It's hard to say what the exact results will be in the real world when you're driving in the rain. I would love to do that for you guys. Unfortunately, like I said, um, we just don't see rain very often here, but I imagine would be more helpful in, in terms of getting evacuating water off the glass and removing streaks and glare. That would personally make it really difficult for me to see at night. Let me know what you guys think about the product. If you guys want to give it a shot, I'll have a referral link in the description below if you want to go try out this Shine Armor product on your personal vehicle. I believe Shine Armor also provided me with a discount code, so make sure to use that discount code if you decide to try out the product. I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the rest of the windows on the car as well as the Hellcat which is sitting just outside of the field of view of the camera because winter is rolling around. Hopefully we do see some rain here in, in Southern California soon. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it somewhat helpful, somewhat informative. If you did, please remember to click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.